Remember when I used to have to set that up? We're very mustard today. Like a couple of Dwights. You consider this to be mustard? Yeah, together. Baby poop. <laughs> To our stupid rigs, as you get some Corbin. I'm Rick. And he follows on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Mm. It's so they will juicy. They Patreon, follow an official Twitter account, ring the bell, and put on the notification squad. Bam! Ring it. Ring it good. You can do it. Uh, and uh, today, we are doing a movie review. Rick, right. did you watch a movie? You were supposed to. <laughs> uh, you know I did. Anyways, uh, we watch Cyrat. That's right. How would you, is that how you pronounce it? I think Cyrat. I think that's right. Cyrat. Okay. Which we've actually kind of already seen the movie based on how many of the songs we have reacted to from the film. Yeah. And uh, this is our second uh, Marathi film. Yes. Uh, and I, it, was, it was a long time coming. We know. I think the other film... There's several films we've done this with. Well, it was the Hydroani Daiduani. That's the one. Yeah. Where... We had been reacting to the songs for like a year, and we, I think we'd seen every musical number, mm -hmm. and then we saw the film. I think the same thing was true with this. I think we've seen every musical number from the film and just hadn't seen the film. Yeah, and so yeah. sorry about that. So now that. we've seen the film. But uh, if we had not reacted to those songs, we wouldn't be able to see the reactions to those songs, and, and they are true. beautiful songs. <laughs> and we, we had wonderful reactions to them, if we may say so ourselves. <laughs> and, so, and we reacted. What? To them doing the orchestrations in Los Angeles, which was the first time that that had been done for an Indian film. I think I got blocked. Oh, Is then, the channel? then it I was just remember. Patreon. Sorry, I, I can't remember if it was saw it over there, but it, yeah. It's so, uh, it is a, a... Read that. The synopsis is, in interior Maharashtra, a fisherman's son and a local politician's daughter fall in love against the restrictions of caste hierarchy. Directed by... Uh, waiting for it to pop up so I can read it properly. Nagraj Manjul. Uh, who did Fandry as well. And then starring, uh, I'm just going to say the main two. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Rinku Rajguru and Akash Fosar. And if you, I don't know if you want to say, um, the other, because the friends and then the... Yeah, there's like three other, three other friends as well as her dad. That's really, uh, there's the two main leads and then an ensemble of friends and family. Mm -hmm. So... Finally watched it. Initial thoughts, Rick. I want to know your initial thoughts because I have a feeling I know what Corbin... Okay, by the way, we've got to just be spoiling this right off the bat. Just letting you know. If you haven't seen it and you don't want the movie to be spoiled for you, go away. I... The minute the ending came, I said out loud, Corbin will love this film. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But not just, because, not just because of that. it was a really good film. Like, I, we could talk about the ending in, in a minute, um, but you're going to have liked it more than I did. Really? Yeah. The whole, why? Why didn't you, what was it? Um, I didn't dislike the ending. I knew, I knew it was coming. Uh huh. Did you know it was coming? Yeah, well, I figured because she was being dumb and inviting her. Yeah, the back. minute the dudes showed up, I'm like, bad. Mm -hmm. These tigers have shown their stripes. Yeah. This is not going to end well. No, not at all. So when their little boy walks in, I'm like, yep. Yep. Saw that coming. Yeah, I did love what the director did with it, though. I did, too. The ending. The, the fact I that hated the ending as far as just... I mean, I personally don't like the thought of two innocent people being murdered in their kitchen and their son discovering the bloody, lifeless bodies. That's I, just me. I know, but um, the realism. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I particularly liked in the reveal was the way it was done from the POV of the son. And then he shut off the audio. The, sound. the, the audio was totally shut off. That was awesome. Yeah. It was a great decision. It was a great decision. You didn't need it at mm -hmm. all. And I will say... Before I had a son, I wouldn't have felt as emotional during that. I didn't cry. Oh, I was going to say, my wife, she bawled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was bawling. Um, but I think before I had a son, I was like, oh, this is awesome. I was, I was more like, oh, this is cool, but mm, that yeah. would be awful. That's, that's <laughs> Corbin Miles kind of in. 
<laughs> um, so, yeah. Let me tell you everything I liked about the film. Okay. All right? And then I'll tell you the couple things I didn't like. Okay. The things I liked about the film. First of all, the thing that towers and soars above everything is the, is the score in the music. Oh, the score, yeah. It's and just... We, we did that in the fact that they did it in Los Angeles, and the strings of the entire thing was so unique to anything we've ever seen from India so far. Uh, and it was, it was so, so, so I love the score. Love the score. It's just quite probably for me the most memorable, memorable in terms of its overall impact for me in listening to this score. And, and a big reason for that is because we reacted to so many of the songs on their own, including the one just purely orchestral piece, which mm -hmm. is for the beginning of the film. An ding, 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 ding. Yeah, 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 I just, ding, ding, ding. it's yeah. so, just f freaking gorgeous. One of the most beautiful scores I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. I thought there were also moments where the cinematography matched the score. Mm -hmm. I thought there were moments where the cinematography was really pretty. There were never moments in the cinematography where I didn't like what I was seeing or felt that there were mistakes. Um, for the most part, I uh, felt everybody was believable. Most of the time, mm -hmm. I'd say 90% of the time, I believed everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I found myself caring about the guy and the girl. Um, I didn't find myself, uh, I, felt the, I, it, I felt the direction was solid with the writing. I, thought, I felt all of that was very believable. There were things about the story we'll talk about that really bother me that I'm sure bother you as well. Mm -hmm. um, the things that didn't make it a film that I love were, uh, I felt the first hour could have as beautiful as the score was, it could, it didn't need to be three hours for mm -hmm. me. It felt longer than it needed to be, which is just one of the things that contributed to me not loving it. The biggest contributor for me were moments where I didn't believe the emotional complexity that I think the actors needed to portray when they were crying. There was one moment the girl had that I was like, thank you, I believe you there. And the other moments, whenever the, he or she had to cry, I didn't believe they were crying. I saw them indicating, and it, that always really bothers me and pulls me out of a story, and it's hard for me to get back in, and it happened like multiple times. So that, that for me is the biggest reason it wasn't a film that I loved, because I found myself on like four occasions going, I don't believe you're crying right now. And I, 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 wanna, I wish I was on set and could say, okay, Stop, let's, let's take time to work on this and see what wall is causing you to do this or why you haven't learned how to cry on cue the right way. And the indicating of wiping tears away that aren't there is just stuff that totally pulls me out. So, but she had a beautiful moment on the phone with her mom. Well, I thought she had, uh, I, I really actually enjoyed her performance and what the, the, the writers and the director did with her entire character. I Most thought of the time they were believable. Really, really brilliant. Most uh, of the time they were believable, except the crying po points for me, which for me, but those are like, are like tiny critical moments. moments. Yeah, but they're critical. Yeah, it's three hours long. I know, but those are critical <laughs> moments. It's three hours long. Uh, but anyways, I loved what they did with her character, especially she in his too. I because I think the reason I was okay, it was long for sure. Um, but I think the reason I was okay with it is because it was basically a lifetime that they were that they were showing us, and I loved the arc, especially that she had, because she came in and I loved her character. I really right liked away. I was like, her character oh, she was, was just written. a little badass, Heck and yeah. she doesn't care. She she will go for what she wants. I was I was so rooting for her to shoot somebody. Oh yeah, uh, and so I loved I loved that whole dynamic uh, of because. What, uh, just off the bat, you normally think that the guy is the the dominant one, mm -hmm. and that's just normally how it goes. But it was it's, it's refreshing to see Agreed. at the beginning, at least, Agreed. it's that way. Agreed. And then I love the way that they wrote her character into this arc of she's she's really um, uh, strong willed and um, she knows what she wants knows at the beginning she when she's in a girl zone. Yeah. And then when she gets out of it and she's like, okay, let's run away. She thinks it's going to be like the movies and she's going to be, because she loves, she, she loves film. And so I'm sure she's seen people elope and mm -hmm. run off, run off and into the sunset. And, and I, I liked the writing of 
her becoming disillusioned and suddenly wishing she was back home. Yeah, I, I, like that I liked that a lot, the, where the, it went there and then she was regretting it when she didn't have that money anymore. Mm -hmm. And so she wasn't in her comfort zone. She, she almost became a totally different person. Mm -hmm. And then... Well, they both did. Yeah, yeah. That, that whole scene where they're, they're both being just terrible to each other. I have one scene he's doing it and then the next scene she's like okay I'll make it better and then he doesn't want to do it right and then they're just being assholes to each other right and then that that whole uh scene when they go away and then they come back which was which was nice that uh, yeah that, that she that, returned that didn't she returned the, and then it moved into them as older and they've had a kid now mm -hmm. and then she, I guess she's just become stupid and decide that her dad's a changed man and also the last time we watched her dad this father makes that father look like the father of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I don't that, think that dad would have killed this kid. Now, here's, here's <laughs> something about the film I don't like, but let me clarify what I mean by that. What I'm about to say is not, I'm not saying I don't like the film and think the film is less because of this. It's a subject I don't like. It's something that exists in the world that was portrayed well in the film that I don't like. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It went, um, what I'm, so because I've said some things about like the biggest thing that caused me to not love the film were those moments where I saw the indicating rather than believability with the crying and the, the subject matter, I get a visceral response when I see, I don't call them men, males slap women, whether it's a dad slapping his daughter, a boyfriend slapping his girlfriend, a brother slapping his sister or a husband slapping his wife. It is one of the most repugnant things in the human race that I can see. And what I know it exists. I know there's a culture that lives the way it's portrayed in this film, mm -hmm. as are honor killings. There are cultures, and they're in all over the world, where dads and brothers think, and uncles, it is a actual, like, pleasing to God to murder their daughter for disobeying them in the way that she did. And I find that so transcendently repugnant. Mm -hmm. It's not one of my reasons for not loving the film. Does that make sense? No, but okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, try, <laughs> I'm not probably not doing a good job explaining it. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is talk about this topic without it making seem like I didn't like the movie because of it. I, I don't want it to equate to that. I'm well, just pointing I, out- I don't think anybody likes those things. No, I don't, it's true, well- I think it's like you're explaining like, no, I don't like murder. No, there. <laughs> There are men who, I'm, I guarantee you, whether they're Indian or American or German or wherever, who will watch this film and they'll be like, yeah, put her in her place. And that's, the, that I, I hate that that exists in the world. I hate that what's depicted in the film. In the same way, for example, this is the grand example. Um, I really, uh, I was gonna, what I was going to use is Schindler's List, you know. I hate what happened mm -hmm. in the Holocaust, but I love Schindler's List. I hate that that actually is going on in the world in places, but it didn't change my opinion of the film itself. Mm. That's what I'm trying to articulate. Gotcha. Uh, does that make sense now? It still doesn't make sense? Okay. It's, it's like you're, to me, it sounds like you're explaining, I don't like murder, that's what I'm saying about this film. It's just weird to me that you're explaining that you don't like it, because obviously we don't like that. Yeah, but that's a different <laughs> thing. I don't like murder, but I don't have a visceral response to it the way I do slapping and abusing women. Uh, like the moment he slapped her in the restaurant. Oh yeah, that. I wanted him to have, I, when he's on the street with her and he's grabbing her wrist, mm -hmm. I'm wanting guys to show up and break his legs. Yeah. I don't like him anymore. I'm yeah. not rooting for him anymore. And when she goes back with him, yeah. okay. Now guys, yeah, guys can make a mistake. Not that mistake. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm fine, but you also liked Kabir Singh. He made that same mistake. Did he? Yeah. He slapped her? Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> that's, so that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't... When did he, I, wait, when did he, when did he slap her? I don't know, he's... In the street. In the street. He slapped her in the street? Yeah, he did. And then he goes to her house and her family tells him to leave. Yeah. Oh, I think I know why. Yeah, I think I know why. Yeah. Why what? And I, I had the same response. I had a visceral response yeah. to that. No, no, like, uh, what I, like, I agree. I'm slapping is terrible, and I was like, you're a piece of shit. I don't yeah. know. I, I, but it doesn't impact the way I feel about, I don't know if I'm doing a good job explaining No, you're not, that. but we can move on from that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just, my main thing about the film that, that I, 
that pulled me out of it multiple times was my my wishing the two leads who were believable most of the time mm -hmm. and I enjoyed the majority of the time didn't have the um, uh, capacity and whether it's their fault or not is immaterial to me. I really wished I had seen actors that could have gone into the depths of the emotional complexity that needed to be portrayed in those moments that their default, which is natural for somebody who can't go there, was indicating because it just, I, I get completely pulled out of the believability of the film for me. That's my biggest gripe. Um, but I did really enjoy the directing part of it as well because I, it's, even though it was three hours, it was almost three different films. Uh, essentially in those three hours. The first one yeah, was... Yeah, the first the hour, first hour was like the love story, them falling in yes. love. And then it's them in that relationship and then trying to run away. And then the last little bit... Last is, 30 minutes. ...is them in, in their older life with their and, and kind of living their life now. Uh, and so I, I enjoyed that. It helped the film move along and not feel as long. It is a long film. It's three hours. Of course it's long. Um, but that's then that's the only gripe. Because I, I actually really enjoyed this film. I thought it was great. Even without that ending, I would have enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. uh, that just kind of was a little icing on the cake. Well, I okay it. For uh. <laughs> so sincerely, you felt the moments that they had where they had to break down and cry. It, it, you were never, you, you were fully absorbed, believing and drawn in with it and found it to be believable? No. Okay, but that doesn't. Ruin the forgot. It doesn't bother you. It, it, there's lots of films we've watched that has uh, bits and pieces of bad acting, especially in the crying department. And yeah. I sat through DevDoss, and that thing has a bunch of shit acting in it. <laughs> so, well, if has, I can do that, it has overemphasized. But no, I did not. It doesn't have indicating I, in the crying. I did not um, have those same overall issues that didn't, it. didn't bother me. That's fine. Like it bothered you. This is, I, I would definitely watch this one over uh, Not Some Rod again. Uh, so the, the two, oh. that, of the two Marathi films we've seen, this is my favorite. Uh, and obviously that's not a lot, that's two. No, uh, <laughs> I would agree. I would agree with you as far as the enjoyability especially, of the film. It's especially so much of it is so enjoyable. And I, I thought the director did really well, especially certain, um, it's certain shots he did were so brilliant. That last one, obviously with the kid, was so heartbreaking. And then the fact that he turned off the sound, yeah, I thought was brilliant. That. But then also the certain shots when they were passing notes or he was trying to get her to open the note, they kind of just panned. Yeah, those over, were really nice over, shots. And it was all, with it looked kid. like one shot, yeah. but it, it kept just going to a different scene and it cut in between the walls. Yeah. But it just kept panning. Yeah. Now, so a lot another, of the shots and the cinematography I really enjoyed in this film. Another thing I really enjoyed was I felt that the supporting cast of his buddies oh, yeah. were all I liked 100 him a percent believable. Uh, and I also, there's been times where what I'm about to say has happened and I've had a really big gripe about it where there's multiple scenes in this where he in particular is getting the snot kicked out of him by the brothers and the family members of her. Mm -hmm. And there's been films we've seen where people are getting the snot kicked out of them and you like, they miss, like it's awful. Yeah. They did a very good job mm -hmm. of staging all of those scenes. I thought every single one of them was believable. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, <laughs> the dad, he's such a terrible, terrible person. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> just, a, just such a bad person. Which... Well, and that too, we didn't discuss this. And it, was a the great, slapping. it was a great scene when she called her mom. Yes, it that, was. That was a really good scene. Um, I, I was actually hoping they would cut to the mom more because I wanted to see what she what was she's going through. Clearly, she doesn't give a shit. She was like, kill my daughter, I yeah. guess. Or it just happens person. without her knowing. It may have happened without her knowing. She I may have know. given she, the gift. She clearly told the, the dad about the men, it. She, she may have been in on it. She, she knew that the dad said, if you mention her again, you will feel my True. wrath or whatever. True. And so I knew that he was done with her. True. And so I was like, don't, why are you, why are you calling your family? So I was mad at the girl at the end. Me too. You were so smart for most of the entire time. And why film. are you offering them tea? Because these guys are here to jack you guys up. Yeah. Uh, but the two other things that we didn't really talk about that are portrayed in our a poignant primary point of the story are the cast system. Yeah. And the differentiation, which is a universal thing because whether it's cast, it'll be social strata. It'll be economic strata um, where people are prejudicial toward other people. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, I correct us if we're wrong. I think it does a pretty good job of portraying what it really is like in parts of India where there is still prejudices based on caste. Yeah. As well as 
uh, corruption that can take place in any particular place where you have power, but particularly anybody who's in politics. Like that scene where his son slaps the teacher mm. and then is like proud of his son for doing it and lets them know he's going to get away with that because I'm a guy of stature and power in the village. Yeah. Yeah. Can't relate to that here in America. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, all in all, I thought there was more to like about this mm -hmm. film than not, and some things about the film to love. Some some of the best overall score and songs score of anything, especially like ex like there's songs like uh, Yaijuani or the one we just watched, um, Yaijuani Haijuani, or right, that's what it was called, right? Yeah, uh, those are just fun, big, huge Bollywood numbers. Right, these are some artistically just beautiful. Agreed. Overall scores and just songs. Agreed. And they were already on my playlist. Yeah, uh, and I, I agree. I think this is a better film than Not Some Rod. If I was to pick between the two, mm -hmm. uh, I kind of would... There's no comparison for me. Yeah. I just don't love it mm -hmm. because yeah. the, the primary thing is the indicating moments that pulled me away, which I'm hypercritical than other people, so I get it. And if it doesn't bother me, then it doesn't bother you, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Uh, I, As much as I... Again, I won't communicate this right. I hate watching women get slapped because I know it exists in the world, real world and I get a visceral response to it. But again, we need to have films that talk about it. So mm -hmm. it's that love-hate relationship. Um, the the runtime was a little bit long for me. It could have, for me, helped if it wasn't as dragged out. Mm -hmm. And I think part of the reason it felt dragged out was I was dreading any other moments that were going to come up of emotional import where they were indicating rather than really giving me something I was believing. Mm -hmm. uh, and even though I knew it was coming, I hate that ending. <laughs> I just hate that ending. Oh, no, it's good. That movie, it, it, it ended and the little kid's there. I'm like, oh, and he was good, too. Yeah, he did. He, he did, did do a good job. good little kid actor right there. Yeah. I liked him. I like. I think he did very well. And I don't, I, like, know, I don't know if the director helped him out by turning off the audio or what. But what it, I thought it was brilliant to turn off the audio. And just it was a great choice. I don't think you need any music behind that. No. I don't think you need for sound a, to understand what that kid... And your, well, your sympathy to that kid. Absolutely. And for a film that has been using score and music so powerfully to convey who yeah. these two are, mm -hmm. to silence the music, yeah. that's probably the best directorial choice oh. in the film. Yeah, and in a so theater, good. it must have been shockingly stark to mm -hmm. go from, especially for people who didn't see it coming. Anybody who didn't see it coming, this would have been a, a punch to the gut. Mm. And... I appreciate the artistic license. I appreciate movies that end this way. I know you love it, but I like movies with happy endings that say dreams do come Realism. true. <laughs> so, very excited to watch another Marathi film. So, please let us know down below what we should watch and review next in terms of, in general, and also what should be the next Marathi film we uh, explore down below. Yeah.